Hi, one of our members has asked me to show you how I get data into Motive Wave. I set up Motive Wave, my profile on Motive Wave, to use uh, the Google Yahoo data feed. But not all of the instruments that I want to see sometimes are available in that data feed. So if you can go online and you can find data in a CSV format or from Yahoo Finance, you can find historic data if you click on Find your instrument. I'm looking at the New Zealand Stock Exchange. And if you click on historical prices and ask for it to be in daily data, and then if you have a look at the bottom, you can download it to a spreadsheet. Let's have a look at that. And this is the data you get. So I'm going to copy all of that, highlight all of that, copy it, and then in BB Edit. I've pasted that and created a CSV file in BBEdit. And then once you've got your data, you can go into Motive Wave and you go File, Chart, Import Data, look for your file. I'm just going to go through the motions, but I'm not going to actually do it because I've just done it just to check it worked. Um, check your time zone, etc. For this one it's Auckland. I'm not going to monitor the input file for changes. Automatically create the instrument. Yeah, we want that because I know it's not there. I'm just going to cancel that. So I've already done it and it's actually really fast and easy and if you can find your instrument that you're interested in on the Google Finance, sorry, the Yahoo Finance page, then you can import it into Motive Wave and then you can do a wave count. It won't automatically update itself, but you can flick from time frame. Here we've got monthly, we've got two weekly, one weekly, and so on. We can go right down to five minutes, so that's really useful data, and that's how I do it.